Hello friends. Welcome to my new Java programming tutorial series video. Today, we will discuss, how to create user-defined exception or application-specific exceptions in Java. Moving ahead. Friends. In this slide, let's discuss exception hierarchy in Java. The parent class which is at top of hierarchy is throwable. Two classes which extends throwable are Number 1 exception class number two error class exception class represents something that happens not as a result of a programming error but rather because some resource or input is not available or some condition required for correct execution is not present error class represents unusual situations that are not caused by program errors or anything that would normally happen during program execution some examples would be JVM running out of memory. Generally your program won't be able to recover from an error, so you're not required to handle them. Exception has a subclass by name Runtime Exception class. Runtime Exception class has been extended by the classes where exception are being thrown at runtime. The few examples are Null Pointer Exception Array Index Out of Bounds Exception Friends, let's move ahead and discuss how to create user-defined or application-specific exceptions in Java. Step 1, create a class, exception class say user not authorized exception. Suppose we want this user-defined exception to be thrown whenever user is not authorized in an application. In order to make this class a type of exception or runtime exception, make sure it either extends exception or runtime exception. Moving ahead. Step 2, create a default constructor which calls super class, exception constructor. Moving ahead. Step 3, create a parameterized constructor by passing in a string message. This string message is conveyed to user that something is wrong, say for example, user is not authorized by the application. It should call super class constructor by passing in message to it. Whenever this exception is thrown, message associated with it is also printed on the console so friends go through this video two to three times so that creation of user defined or application specific exception in java gets more clear to you hope you like this video please give one minute to like share comment or subscribe my channel or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com